Ignatius487 here. Welcome back. It's a brand new day. And the sun is high. All the birds are singing that you're going to die. <laughs> Not really. We're at Crowhaven. Which is a pretty interesting place. Uh, this is... We're continuing the quest for... The Grey Prince who's the current champion, or grand champion, rather, of the arena. I have my hoodie on with my headset on over that, which is kind of interesting. Pretty comfy, really. Something that I I do enjoy. So, uh, just out of curiosity, I don't believe that will kill me. But we'll save it anyway, just to be safe. And we're going to jump off and see how much damage we take. Oh, shit. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. You can override it. It's cool. Thank you. Whee! Oh. That wasn't bad at all. There we go. I have so many potions that they got from the Knights of the Nine folks. By the way, you can tell I'm using a different bow now. Uh, I've switched over to the Daedric bow, at least briefly. I'll probably go back to the Iron Bow for training. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, we'll switch back to the old bow because... It, it helps with training purposes for marksmanship. Manship. Hey, there's a wolf. What was a wolf? And another wolf. Yay! Silly wolves. They might, they might not even have been have been angsty at me. Oh, this is the one, this is the one I'm thinking of that has the uh, little cave thing that we saw before with the wolves in it. Yeah. All right. Good old recycled skins. Recycled background, back, backgrounds. <laughs> backgrounds. Do, 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 do. See this? Recognize that? Yeah! That's a rat. Anyway, point stands. Going the different way. Uh, that's the way we have to go. That little door on the side. This goes into the. Okay. Okay. PK fire. Mm, hello. Wolfy wolf. Mm, tasty. All right. Had to shoot it somewhere. Yay. This is where that fellow is locked. Lord Leviticus. He's locked it in. Oh, pardon me. A great mist lies over the land. And only I can save the world from this fellow. Oh, damn. Look at you being all... He's real pacey. Hello. One more. One more. <laughs> What's this? 
I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more than a flower needs sunshine. Your penitent lover. Uh huh. Well, there's kind of a. Let's see if I can find it here. No? Any of these have, like, s none of these are skill books. They're not worth anything. Fine. Fine. Paintbrush. Nice. I collect paintbrushes because they hover when you drop them. You can make little neat, neat platforms. I could dupe them, I guess. But, I don't really have a lot of use for them, generally. Come on. <laughs> nice. The Journal of Lord Leviticus. It's actually kind of cool, so we'll kind of go, go over this. So, Entry 1. Beauty. Pure and sublime. That is the only way to accurately describe my love. The maiden Gromalog. True, the orcs of Tamriel are often vilified by other citizens of the Empire, and rarely will they be considered a pleasure to look upon. So, is my maiden Luktov a rare breed of orc? Unlike the rest of her kin in physical appearance? Nay, in fact, she is the perfect representative of her race. Green skin, muscular frame, and all. But beautiful she is all the same. For who am I to judge? Who am I to criticize when so many would condemn my very existence? I can only hope my love is as understanding when she learns of my unique condition, for I have yet to reveal that most precious of secrets. Entry 2. Damn the politics of my station. Taxation and trade negotiations and meetings with disingenuous aristocrats. It's sometimes enough to make me regret my birthright altogether. I've spent the latter half of my life hiding my identity, guarding my secret. But now I am faced with an even greater challenge, for if word were to get out that I have fallen in love with a servant, and an orc no less, I would be all but ruined. Such is the life of the Cyrodiilic nobleman. Entry 3. Curse me for a coward, but I have not yet found the strength to tell my beloved look of the truth. Perhaps it's for the best, for what benefit is there in her knowing? She would share all my fears, but none of my abilities. Her life would become one of doubt and uncertainty. Still, if she is to spend her remaining mortal days with me, she has the right to know the truth. Entry 4. Joy and ex an exultation. She is with child. My beloved Luktov is carrying my child. The midwives predict a boy, and we have already settled on the name Agronak. In truth, I never realized such miracles were even possible, but the divines have granted us their blessing, and so shall it be. I must wonder, of course, if my dear child will share in my dark gift. First hint. Only time will tell. Entry 5. Tonight the truth will be revealed. I will tell my beloved looks of everything. She will know who and what I am, and we will decide how best to raise the precious child that grows in her womb. Entry 6. Betrayal! Foul and loathsome harlot! How dare look to have questioned my motives, questioned the love I have for my own unborn child, when she learned the truth that I, the Lord Leviticus, am no longer human, that I have walked Tamriel as a vampire for the past two hundred years. How quickly she judged me. So I'm a monster, am I? Perhaps I should have proven her right. Perhaps I should have drained her dry when I had the chance, but, my, but I loved her. As deeply as a man has ever loved a woman. And I wanted nothing more than to bring our baby into this world and embrace my new role as father. Perhaps when Luktov has come to her senses, for she refuses to come out of her room, we can have rational discourse about our future. I do not, however, retain much hope. Entry 7. Imprisoned! Imprisoned! In my own home, while I slept, looked of locked me in my own private chambers. She called to me through the doors, told me of a plan to escape with her unborn child. 
She means to keep my baby from me. When I get free, I will find the traitor's whore and rip the child from her very womb. Entry 8. Two weeks. Two weeks have passed since Logs have locked me in my quarters. Try as I might, I cannot free myself. I cannot reach the doors. If I don't feed soon, I feel I will go mad. Entry 9. Food. Blood. 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 I need it. I need blood. I need blood. Entry 10. I took the time, by the way, in entry 10, to put three dots. That's all. Just three dots. Sweet. Fun. Fun reading. Fun reading. Let's, uh, is that everything? Everything of importance? Mm. Driven mad by the hunger. Little sackcloth pants. That would kind of suck. You can't really die, but you're... You know, you, you have to drink blood, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yay! We are heading... Is that the way I came from? This... I, I think this is the way I came from. Whoa. Whoa. Gotta be careful there. Yeah. 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 How freaking fast I run, dude. Do I really need to go in here? There's loot. Kind of randomized loot. Ah, ah, what the hell? Let's do it. What the hell? Let's do it. That fight can be really difficult if... I, I'm, I'm like super trained up and am beast at this point, so it's kind of a not not quite the same thing. Look at you being all beast. Damn. What is this guy? Oh. <gasps> This guy's rocking Daedric gear. I already have one of those. I do not have one of those, so we'll take that. Vampire warrior. This must be where they've kind of locked away all the... Uh, all the stuff. Is the is there more? <gasps> Hi. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh hey, that's a wraithy wraith. No, oh, really. No. Give me a second. We'll go take care of it. Vampire dust. Ow. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Thank you. Cool. Good deal. Back to the regular bow. Is that all this little area was? A few chests. Cool. I'm all for that. Can I check that? Yeah. <coughs> I thought that there was more to this little room, but I guess there's not. Oh, dang. Alright. Hey. Hey, you stop that. I have I have contracted porphyric hemophilia. Oh, I have an interesting story about that actually. Um 
My... Uh, a, a good friend of mine... Uh, his name's Dustin. Uh, he's, he's actually... In a, he's been in a few movies now. Not as, like, primary roles or anything. But... Did you just disarm me somehow? You jerk. You dirty, dirty jerk. Uh, is that still... Yeah, that's what I thought. That's funny right there. Alright. Fuck it. We're just, we're just gonna wreck some shit. Am I supposed to be impressed? Is that Daedric Pants? Hell yes. Give me your Daedric Pants. Oh, it's beautiful. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> so, he's got... Uh, he... This is back when Oblivion was still kind of, like... New. He was playing his game. And I forget what cave he was in, or whatever. But somehow... He contracted porphyric hemophilia, killed all the vampires in the area, and managed to get locked somewhere without a lockpick. He like didn't have any lockpicks at the time. And then, uh, so he basically had to wait in the in in that cave area for three in-game days before anything were to respawn. Which by that time he had already become a vampire. <laughs> Pretty neat. It's like that's that's kind of a cool story. I'm going to cure that for now. I there's uh I bought several of those for that purpose. There's a few things. There there is a point that I will become a vampire, but it's story based, not. Uh, wait, is this, this is where I, oh gosh, come on now, get, get, get your shit together, man. Yeah, 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 this is that way, alright, cool. Let's go. Good deal. And with that, we're actually kind of at the end of the Crowhaven thing. So, until next time, Bone Batuna, and we'll see you next video.